What is up, guys? Welcome to Keep It Real. Where we're keeping it real. All right, so today we'll be reacting to uh, Anxiety by Vinci Williams. We're saying Vinci because we're not going to say V-N-C-E. <laughs> Vinci? What if it's just Vince? Then it's Vince Williams. It's just an artistic way of saying Vince So Williams. this is not the original song. This is a cover. We found this out like, literally like No, no, no. I think, I, think, I think it's not a cover. It's like a remix? No, no Julia this... Michaels and Selena Gomez are like the real... The who? Julia Michaels. Oh, it was Julia Michaels? I thought it was Vince. No, no, I think this is just him hovering. The point is, we're gonna listen we're to gonna the acoustic to this version one. of this song. The reason is, why are we reacting to such a, you know, um, sad song? We gotta show a little variety on our channel. Exactly. And, and we've already done a couple things. We and reacted to WAP, Agua. Oh my, Jay Balvin. So we have like a <laughs> lot of varieties, but this one's different. So. Yeah, and I think I, I, I I'm reading the first like lyrics, and it's gonna be up on the screen, and I relate to that just first two lines. So I've listened to the song already. He hasn't. No, I haven't. So and just reading the lyrics, I'm like, shit. That's yeah, me. but no more reading. <laughs> now we're gonna listen. Are you ready? First, you wanna take me to the movie. Tell them to fuck off, I'm holding hands with my depression Here right when I think I'm overcoming Anxiety start kicking in to teach a shit a lesson Oh, I try my best to still be social I make all these plans with friends and know they call in cancer Then I overthink about the things I'm missing Now I'm wishing I was with them Feel like I'm always apologizing for feeling Okay. Thanks. We're just gonna do that then. Yeah. Before I ask you the first part, what do you think? Um, the reason I listen to the song, or I've heard it, is because a lot of people look at my playlist because I have like a variety of stuff. It's not like organized. <laughs> people would be like, "Oh my god, you have like a list of depressing songs and like feel good songs." Like, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, you're depressed. <laughs> and I tell people, no, it's just that. I'm super like musically inclined mm -hmm. that I listen to someone, you know, like this, yeah. the piano, the instruments, the the melody, the lyrics, like you can feel what they're feeling. And I like that, you know, yeah. so I appreciate it and I feel what they're feeling. I'm not saying that I want to feel sad. I don't, I'm not like, oh, I feel sad today. I want to listen to a song <laughs> to feel bad. And so, no, it's just that I'm super open to any type of music. Genre. See, that's different for me. Like you need to feel sad to listen to the sad song. No, for me, for me, music is like a gateway for me to express my feelings. No, no, for sure, I agree. So, like, when I li you go into my my playlist, and my playlist is a mess. Like, there's happy songs, there's sad songs, there's like, <laughs> you know, party anthems and stuff like that, and then. But when I go to listen to a sad song, it's because I'm consciously thinking I want to listen to this song. If a sad song comes up and I'm not feeling sad, I will skip it. Oh, okay. You get me? I feel, like, I feel it, you my mean. playlist. Like you need to feel a certain way to listen. My playlist to a song. goes with my mood. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. Like, of course, like, I don't really recall myself saying, "Oh, I'm so sad. I want to listen to some sad music." No, like, I, I don't think I've ever done that. But I do <laughs> listen to like artists, like. Um, Louis Capaldi, I think was his name. Uh -huh. um, this, um, this guy, and like other people, you know, Trevor Daniel, I think is his name. So yeah. So the first block, you know, I relate to. You said you related to the first line. The first verse? two lines. The first two lines. The, I mean, the whole, that whole first verse is literally like shit hits the fan. Yes. Like that. That. I mean, not shit hit the fan, but like. A lot of people don't understand that, even even though they're going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. People think that other people don't go through the same thing, and everybody's going through the same thing, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah, I've had times where like, yeah, my friends or somebody or you guys invite me somewhere, and I'm just wishing, <sighs> like, yeah, I want to go, but like, I prefer to just stay home. Yeah, I agree. I mean, um... And it's cause either I'm feeling sad, and then the and then yeah, the anxiety kicks in. Yes, and it's like shit. Like ugh, I wanted to go and like this and that. Like what if what if this? What if that? What if mm -hmm. like the what ifs start coming out? And that's exactly. that's my anxiety. Like that you've, starts coming out. You've had relationships before, just like yeah. I've had relationships before. 
and I totally agree with you, and mm-hmm. I also do relate with. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do. Um, I remember with my like the relationships when mm-hmm. comes with a breakup phase, comes whatever mm-hmm. like what you go through. I do remember, you know, when that depression hits, that um, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to go because if I'm driving, I must see the same thing I saw with that specific person and the yeah, yeah, yeah. of it. But then, and then and the part that he says, I'll make all these plans with friends and I hope they call and cancel. That hits me. That hits me too because it's like, I don't want to be the one to cancel. I want you to cancel so yeah. I can be relieved. So because can, then exactly. if I cancel... Cause I don't want you to think bad. There's that anxiety of that being you, like, oh, oh shit, I'm the bad person. Exactly. Is, you know, and then and it's true, like, and even in a relationship, you know, sometimes with the you need a break. You don't have to be 24 7 with that person. No, for sure. I agree. And <laughs> that the other person shouldn't take that. You know, as something bad, it's just sometimes when you're going through these things, you have to be alone. You have to, you have to go through it. All you can, all you should do is just show some support and be like, okay, I'm here if you need me. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. So, just show your friends support if, if they're like, if you know that they're feeling bad, or if even if even if you don't know and they cancel, don't be like quick to judge like, oh shit, like ah, oh, he's this bad person because he canceled on me or whatever. Like, and don't don't do that. Like we were saying, the other reactions and here, um, we like to implement in every song a little bit of us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah and for sure. one thing here that he says, it's the la- second last line. Then I overthink about the things I'm missing. So and now I'm wishing we're with them. So what I'm trying to <laughs> what, what I'm trying to say is that me, I don't know about you, but I like telling people this, and you heard it. I, I, I overthink overthinking. Oh yeah. I'm That's an overthinking, what? overthinking person. So <laughs> my mental, like when it comes to questioning, like I don't really question myself, but when it comes to questioning things mm-hmm. in general, I overthink it. I'm like, okay, I got to stop, you know? But then I start it, overthinking what I just overthought. Because the anxiety kicks in and what ifs start coming out again and yeah. again and again. So yeah, so let's just keep on. Oh yeah, go back a bit. I forgot that you can go just... Go back a bit? Yeah. Okay, so... I was with him, feel like I'm always apologizing for feeling Like I'm out of my mind when I'm doing just fine All my ex will say that I'm hurt to it And I admit it, yeah But all my friends say Okay, um, this really hits hard for me. Yeah, it does. <sighs> okay, I feel like I'm always apologizing for feeling. I've always kept, and I, I'm pretty sure you know what this is. As in a Cuban family, we're always taught to, as a man at least, to keep your feelings in mm-hmm. and not show and, and, the uh, mi- and unfortunately i still go through that i still yeah. go through the hey i'm, I'm a man I'm exactly and the minute you show it everybody's on top of you like ooh, like not in what's wrong but in like deal with it get your shit together like what the fuck is wrong with you type of shit mm-hmm. and i feel like because i've gone through it that should not be the reaction of other people and like mm-hmm. like I'm out of my mind when I'm just doing fine and, 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 and it's not we're not crazy we're not emotional you know it's just everybody has feelings mm-hmm. and everybody goes through it and it's okay to show them mm-hmm. you know you can't be judged because everybody literally goes through it and it says exes all say that I'm hard to deal with yeah cause those exes aren't there after the Af- after like okay. what I'm getting here is that his exes have broken up with him because they find his him broken him broken 
and they don't know how to deal with it. And yeah, it's true. A lot of people don't know how to deal with it. And people should start like listening instead of mm -hmm. talking. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't listen. And it keeps on in the in, in, so, the, in the next um, verse. Are you, you're done or I don't want to interrupt. I mean, we can keep on no, no, the next verse now. I was gonna... Yeah, go. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yes, as a man, like you said, you know, we're taught, you know, you're a man, you know, um, bought up your feelings and keep going forward, you know, screw that girl, you know, whatever, you know, that type of typical stuff. It happens, um, like I was saying literally a few minutes ago. Unfortunately, I sometimes go, my mental state goes through that. What mm -hmm. I was taught, the whole, you know, nah, Daniel, you're good, bro. You just, nah, bro, but sometimes you gotta, like, release it. You gotta you let know, go. You have to, you ha I was gonna say sleep. You have to cry. You <laughs> and, have to and you gotta talk to somebody. Yes, you do. You can't just talk to yourself. Yes, you can. It doesn't exist. Because, I mean, it, it can't exist if you have a... a, a a disorder where you have multiple personalities because that is a thing but you can't just talk to yourself and talk yourself out of it because in the end of the day it's just going to keep on bottling up bottling up bottling up bottling mm -hmm. up bottling up and like he says all his friends they don't know what it's like they don't know what it's like it's true nobody knows what it's like and that's why you got to talk about it nobody knows what you're feeling but those people shouldn't be judging him for that, mm -hmm. you know, and I do encourage people to go. They talk to somebody, be it a therapist or a family member or somebody. And like he says, you don't have to take a pill for it. It can help. You but it don't lead you to something else that's bad. Yeah, not that not that it'll lead you to something else that's bad. But like you can't forego therapy or talking to somebody and just think the pill is going to fix it because mm -hmm. it's not the pill or a drug is not going to fix it magically you need some you need support mm -hmm. you need a support system and i think he says <clears throat> here that i super relate to is when he says i can't sleep through the night oh yeah that's happening because i don't you know i've met people who are really good that they're really good at coping uh -huh. after a breakup you know mm -hmm. We could use the maybe he didn't love her as much as I loved my ex. Uh -huh. so, you know, we, we can use that. But I know me, how I cope is I have to be alone. I mm -hmm. have to be like, I do find people like sometimes and you've been there. <clears throat> We've known each other for a long time. He's been through like, I don't know, two relationships with mine. So he knows what I go through. But yeah. I do realize that I have to be myself. I have to see what's up. I have to see what I got to fix. But I also real, realize that I have to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. And the thing about me, though, and I don't know if you agree and if you relate, but sometimes I feel like talking to a person, it feels good. But then I want to stop talking to that same person. I want to talk to someone else. That's fine. And then I talk to that person. I'm like, that's not enough. But I don't want to talk to you too. I'm gonna talk to a new person now because he doesn't know what I went through. You guys already know, but I want to, you know. And sometimes I think I think to myself, and it's like, it's because I want a different answer. It could be. But that's your anxiety kicking in. Yeah. That's the anxiety, the 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 self doubt. Yeah. Of what you've gone through. But yeah, let's keep on. Yeah, go back a bit. This this is. Yeah. <laughs> But you know that I can take something to fix it to my wishes I wish it was so simple But all my friends say don't know What it's like, what it's like I always wanted to be one of those people in the room That said something and everyone puts their hand out If you say it, put your hand up If you hate someone, put your hands up If you're scared, put your hands out Feel like I'm always apologizing for feeling like I'm out of my mind when I'm doing just fine. All my ex say that I'm burning to it, and I admit it, yeah. But all my friends say don't know what it's like, what it's like. They don't understand why I can't sleep through the night. But you know that I can take something to fix it, tell my wishes. It's simple, but all my friends say don't know. 
All the damn time And I can see me shut it off I'm thinking I'm doing fine Most of the time I think that I'm alright But I can seem to shut it off I got all the thoughts Running through my mind All the damn time And I can seem to shut it off I'm thinking I'm doing fine Most of the time I say that I'm alright But I can seem to shut it off But all my friends Yeah. Yeah, so that far I got all these thoughts running through my mind. <laughs> That's me every day. With what? With everything. With everything? Just I thought you were in like specific relationship. No, just Just life in general. Yeah. You know, like like I'm like you said, like, like you're always like me, I'm always thinking and thinking the what ifs the what ifs and that's all the thoughts that like i've like we've like we've talked about before like there's times where i haven't been able to sleep all night because i just keep thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and just rethinking what if and what if that and yeah like i feel that a lot and i know people feel like that too oh yeah you know you guys, if, if if you feel like that, talk about it. I think like one of the hardest things ever that I've ever been through. It's not just, you know, my dad's cancer or like other things in my life that mm -hmm. well, I don't really need to mention. Let the <laughs> guys on y'all need to know about my personal life. But a breakup, especially when you invest so much into it. Mm -hmm. And then that other person just shuts it off and it's like a it's like a light switch you yeah. know like you're you're gonna like think about it you're gonna start a relationship and it's super slow like getting to another person getting to trust a person mm -hmm. getting to um reveal certain aspects of you that not a lot of people know mm -hmm. to that person that's total stranger mm -hmm. you know but then when it's time for one of them to just shut it off it's so quick and it's hard for me because one of my like past relationships you know it'll be like a constant daily routine of things that you're so used to mm -hmm. and then the next day it's like ripped out of like it's ripped yeah. it's like it's like they stole it from your life like you didn't even have a decision and then you wake up and you're like you know i i would do this you know i would call this person on facetime or I would talk to them about this or you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like now you got to like understand and tell yourself that won't happen ever again. Like this is mm -hmm. a year, two, three, however long you've been with that person. I've been doing this, this, this and that, trusting this person with my personal problems. I would go to him or her because of whatever. And then you don't have that anymore. Immediately the day after. Yeah. It's tough. It is tough. We've gone through that. And it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. But I feel like it's a learning, mm -hmm. a learning experience. And I'm not gonna lie, I can, I can see how it could happen again. Because it's life, and you know people change, and but it's tough to get over the the routine or the thought of having somebody there like it's it's hard to wake up and be like i can't call this person i can't say good morning mm -hmm. or i can't say good night or i can't you know call and be like hey like i got this i got that, I got that. and you know talk about yeah i got yeah so yeah it, it's mm -hmm. it's tough it's tough ah <sighs> this song it's good, right? It's really I mean, good. it's good, but it's like, it makes you want to like, just punch something. Mm. It doesn't um, make me want to punch something. It just... And also another thing, I want to ask you a question regarding breakups. Mm. And it's because that way, I'm pretty sure, listen, there's so many people <clears> in this world that I'm 100% sure someone who steps on this video maybe is going through a breakup right now. Yeah. You know? So I want to ask you a question. Uh, I'll give you my answer first. Do you believe that when you break up with someone, you know, the whole, 
Hey, I still want to be your friend. For, because I'm 100% sure people have that question right now. Like, oh, should I still be friends with that person? Because the reason why I'm telling you that question, asking you that question, is because my personal answer through experience is no. That person should not exist ever again in your life. Why? Because <clears throat> how can you go from loving someone, dating someone, to pretending, to now be friends with them, but not do what you guys were doing, you know, living that relationship life. Mm -hmm. And then progressively, one day you will see that person find a new person. Mm -hmm. Are you up for the challenge to experience that? You know, it's a hard thing to to think about. My last relationship, I told the person, hey, look, if you ever need anything, I'll always be there. It was a mutual decision to break up. So whatever. Um, Mine wasn't. <sighs> Yeah, exactly. It, it all depends on the on the situation. If if it wasn't, you know, a mutual decision, then then I get it why you wouldn't be able to stay friends. I mean, I told even her. even even though even though I'm not currently like talking to this person, mm -hmm. like it was a mutual decision, and we decided, hey, let's just see how we are. Separate. separate and I said you know if you find somebody else I'm happy for you and I truly am you know and if you ever need anything I'm here and I'll always be here because I loved you and you know that's still a little part of my heart that's still there but I see where you can come from and be like you know I'm not I'm not saying I'm friends mm -hmm. but in a sense we're friends you know like we're not talking but if anything see uh, i remember my last relationship my last breakup um i told her i did did and still truly mean <clears throat> the if you need someone um you have you, you can you can call me mm -hmm. you know because you can't and no one can tell me that they're prepared for a breakup when no. when they're being broken, you know, not that you're gonna break up with a person, no, no, you, the person. It's your partner not even if you're you. gonna break up. With so the you person, can't though. sit there and be like, after you just probably made out with her, or ate something with your mm -hmm. with your significant other, whatever, um, and then be like, okay, now that she broke up with me, I can't be your friend. No, I can't be your friend. No, you can't do that at the moment, you know. Mm -hmm. And I remember I told her I was like, hey, like, whatever. If you need someone, I'm here. You know, and I truly mean it. Mm -hmm. And then later on, this is personal, but uh, no name drops and nothing, so no one really know. Um, it'll get to the point where she was like, "Hey, but like, I want you as a friend," you know. Mm -hmm. Which this is when people start questioning: Okay, is it true or not? Maybe she's just saying that like, she doesn't want to break me as much or whatever. Um, I was up for it, but I, I told her, "Listen." Let me just focus on myself right now. And then when I'm fixed, we, I can be your friend. <clears throat> and that's completely... And till that day, till that day, till now, I'm already fixed. I'm, I'm, uh -huh. I'm good. But I, I, I don't need to be your friend. <clears throat> my opinion. And that's, that's... Don't need to be. That's understandable. And that's I, understandable. People need... After a breakup... You need time to evaluate the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. you need time to to see where you stand. And now I'm not saying that everybody is going to be the same because not everybody's the same. Some people, they break up and they're still friends. And some people were best friends before they got together. And then they're best friends after they got together. And they're yeah, like, oh, my God, yeah, I slept with you. It, it, all de it all depends on who you are. It all depends on the situation. But... I know your situation and I know it was it's tough. hard <laughs> and my situation was hard too and, and I suffered I'm not gonna say I didn't but I got I'm not gonna say I got over it but I understood mm -hmm. you know and and I understood that some people need to to take other roads 
to be themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. I, 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 um, there is a song, I think it was a song. And the line said, like, uh, uh, it's not exactly like this, but it has something to do with, like, oh, I thank you because you're the, you're, uh, you're, uh, you and all of my other exes are the point, you're pointing to the real one. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So what he's saying is, like, okay, you didn't work, but where am I supposed to head now? So she points to, oh, it's over there, it's her. And then you go to that second person. And then she's, you guys don't work, and you guys, damn, who is it then? But you learn from it, so that experience, they're like helping you. So like, song is something like that, like, oh, like you know, you didn't work, but at least you're pointing me to where you mm -hmm. go. You know. Let's take Ariana's "Thank You" next. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't really like that song. But it's it's literally that. It's mm -hmm. thank. It's like, thank I you. learned from mm -hmm. this person, and it didn't work out. So then I learned from this person and it didn't work out, but I eat from each person that I've learned, I've learned to focus on myself mm -hmm. before I jump to the next one, mm -hmm. you know, and each little person has given the, the little seed of this is how I should do things. Or maybe this is how I should change. I'm not saying somebody should change for, for other people, but like, don't do that. Changing for the better, I'm, I'm saying, like, realizing that you have more potential or that you have, you know, a, a possibility to be a better person out of it. Also, don't be afraid to address things to your partner. Always talk. Be, yes. This is one of my, my always, and my ex will testify to this. <laughs> always, always communicate. Yes. That when you lose communication that is where everything falls apart mm -hmm. and it's better to talk work things out at the beginning than to talk and figure that things aren't going to work at the mm -hmm. end because you know it's saved it saves emotional damage that can happen just talk it doesn't hurt. <laughs> I mean, it might hurt at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, you might feel sad. You might feel mad. You might feel. See, that's why I'm telling them, uh -huh. like, to address how you feel because I'm not like this anymore. But I used to be the type of person that I change for them. As yeah. in, let's say they say, well, I don't like the way you're doing this. But that's me. And mm -hmm. I know that's me. All right, I'll change for you. I'll try not to do it again. Or you're arguing, you know, she's she's like yelling at you or what I'm saying, you know, um, I'm, there's a he's and she's, you know, as in like, you know, I'm saying she because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but for all, a girl that could be <clears throat> watching, that's a he, both ways. Mm -hmm. um, she could be arguing with you. I would feel, oh, like, you know, yeah, let me let me be respectful. Let me not say anything. Let me not tell her what I feel because I don't want to get her mad. Nah, bro. Like, what I learned is you got to tell her. How you feel yeah. hey listen you're mad at me because of this but what about this this is or, or be like hey but like i don't give with that way of what you're saying because that's me you know what yeah. i mean like, you should never change and that's the whole point of dating to realize who you're with and things can change from one year to the next you know the person can change and if that's what if that <sighs> If you realize that things cannot go on, just end it. Yes. Don't drag it on. Because eventually you're just going to build up more days of more of uh, memories, more uh, pain. And then the day it does break. It's going to be It's just even more worse. load. It's just. Yeah. You know? So I don't think we need to listen to the rest of the song. It's no, the yeah, same no, thing. Yeah. So yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, you know, discuss downstairs in the comments what you have feel felt and feeling. what you've gone through or what you're feeling. Um, and take it easy. Keep it real. And take it slow, bro. Take it slow. Don't don't stress over it. Yeah, it's a stressful situation. Whatever you're going through, but no, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. There's always, it's cliche, but it's the truth. If there's always help. There's always a way out. Even when you think that there's no way out. 
so yeah. I'm so sad, man. <laughs> Click Whoa, the that's what? <laughs> <laughs> Click the subscribe button, hit that notification, like button, share everything. You know, you guys know what to do by now. So, thank you for watching, guys, and keep it real. Keep it real.